My mountain lion hunt was a blast. I hunted with Scott Swenson of Pines Ranch. Scott was a houndsman since way back, and he had some of the best dogs, I guess, in the whole area. I'm not a houndsman, uh, but I do understand that houndsmen love their dogs, and they they have, you know, a special appreciation for all the aspects of a trait that can be bred into a dog. And it was intriguing to listen to Scott and just to see the thrill in his eyes of how he just loved what he did. Who are we taking? We got Tanner and Sue just got in. And this is Tracker here. Come on, Tracker. Oh. Come on, Misty. Misty. Here she is. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on, get in. Whoa. <laughs> ah. Let's do it. Oh, man. He treated them like kings, and he knew them all by name, and he knew every one of their traits and how this dog tracked well, and this dog was really good with their nose, and this dog treed well, and this dog was a barker. This is Tanner. I've raised him since he was a pup. Um, he is actually a plot dog, but he's a throwback plot dog. He's my lead dog. Whenever I'm hunting, you know, I always take Tanner. He's my favorite. This is a plot dog. Her name's Sue. Um, she's about four and a half years old. She's a heavier set dog, and when she trails, she trails slower than the rest. But she's got an awesome voice. This is Misty. She's about eight years old, and she is a purebred walker. Um, she's an excellent tree dog. If I hear her, you know, chop barking, she will bark about a hundred barks a minute. So you definitely know you got the cat. It was a challenge and it really was. I mean, there's snow on the ground, you're hunting in the mountains, and we basically using a snowmobile to try to cut a lion track. And so we would hop in this truck, trailer the snowmobiles, and we would drive up this old road to a dead end. All right, Tom, I'm gonna go run this canyon. Just keep your radio on and I'll, I should be gone about a half an hour or so. Sounds good. All right, I'll radio if I cut anything. Good luck. And then Scott would hop on his, his snowmobile and he'd take off down the road where no trucks were going past there. It was just all deep snow. And he would look and look and look for tracks and he'd make like a two mile circuit and back. We'd load up the machine and we'd go to the next place and the next place. And day after day, looking for that one hot, mountain lion track cutting through the snow. There's a female and two big kittens on this knob and they're pretty fresh and they're as big as she is so they're 70, 80, 90 pounds you know and then there's been another one cross up here and go back that way as well and I think it's a younger male but I know where a bigger one is so let's go check over there first. So he gets his dogs ready, I get my snowmobile off, get all packed up. My cameraman's Jeff Parker on this trip and we take off, uh, both of us on one snowmobile and uh, my guide on the other snowmobile and all the dogs trailing behind and we go way back up into the mountains till we find this track. A heavy male will get a bigger foot than a female. Uh, the biggest female will probably weigh 120, 140 pounds maybe and a large male will go maybe 180 pounds. But I think this is a fresh enough track that we should be in business. Well, Tom, we're finally here. <laughs> Here's the track, it comes out right here and then it ends up going right up the hill right up there. Uh huh. So if I can get you to grab these two dogs, we'll go right up there and start them. Cool. Come on, come on. That's what I'm talking about. And they're off. <laughs> well, let's go back to the sleds and we'll drive up on this point here where we can hear them better. Okay, that sounds good. All right. You could tell a difference. I mean, I remember we were sitting there and we were listening and, and we were kind of glassing, trying to look if we could see the dogs, you know, through the timber, spot them running. You kind of could hear where they were at, but they were far away. 
And uh, all of a sudden, their temperament changed. And their temperament changed to the point that Scott knew from the sound of the barks that his dogs were on the live track and they had probably seen the cat. Here's sleds right here. And his tracks go right down over the creek. Pretty soon, we're trudging through the snow, and there's the cat. And the cat's up in a giant pine tree, 50, 60 feet up. Not a long shot for a bow hunt, but there's just limbs everywhere. And the cat had his back feet on a lower branch and his front feet over top of another branch, so he was almost like standing up on the tree. The dogs were all barking at the base, and I remember it just sounded like chaos. It's like, man, this is just craziness here. Well, I've been looking at it. I think your best hole to shoot through is about right here. You'll just have to shoot right under that angle of that limb and just right a little opening, and it's a little bit of a white patch. And if you can snake an arrow right up through that, I think we're good to go on him. And sure enough, of course, you know, you, you knock an arrow in the bow and you look the situation over and you try to pick the branches and you kind of wait for the cat to shift around and give you the shot. Good shot. Go ahead and... Knock another one up. He's dead. Good shot, buddy. Good job, guys. Good work. Oh, look at this cat. Look at the size of that. <laughs> Congratulations. Much, Unbelievable. Look at the paws on this. Look at the size of that. He's huge, man. That is un incredible. Look at the head. Look at the size of his head. Scars. Those dogs are awesome. Hey, they did a good job. There's bare spots on these mountainsides, and I mean, they had to be in the snow, out of the snow, in the snow. Yep. And what a tough shot. I mean, what kind of a tree was he up? I know, he picked a, a tall one. <laughs> Look at the fur on this cat. He's huge. How much you think he weighs? You know what? He's probably 170 or 180. Cat of a lifetime. That is a cat of a lifetime. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. What an incredible hunt. Of all the animals of the Super Slam, you know, when you get the animal, you, you try to display your trophy. On Mountain Lion, you pick the whole thing up if you can, and that's part of the, I guess, manly part of it is, you know, can you lift up your cat? Look at that cat! <laughs> He's heavy! He's really heavy!